Hi everyone, Eric here, and today we're going to talk about how to calculate customer lifetime value and why this is the most important metric for many companies. First off, what is customer lifetime value? It's the total profit generated from one client over their lifetime of buying with the company. So why would a number like this be important? Well, it's really most important for subscription-based companies because these companies rely on a customer coming back and buying over and over and over and over and over and over for many, many, many months. So SaaS companies, e-commerce companies, anything on a subscription, uh, they're really, really focused on this metric. And the reason why they're focused on this metric is because this met with this metric, they can figure out how much to spend in marketing. So when these companies think about marketing, they think about the customer acquisition cost or the CAC as they would call it. And that is basically how much money do you spend to bring one client into the into the company. So let's say in January you spent $1,000 in marketing and you got um, 120 new customers. So that means you spent on average $8.33 to get one new customer into your company to sign up for your subscription. That is your CAC. And so if you know how much each customer is going to be worth as they stay with the company, then you can know, okay, what is a CAC that works for our business model? Okay, so first I'm going to talk about how to calculate LTV. I'll show you a really fast formula and then I'll walk you through visually the lifetime of a customer so you can see what the calculation means. So I have this set up here, LTV, this is the customer lifetime value. So you need certain assumptions to basically calculate this. You need clients, and let's say we have um, 730 clients. And I'm gonna put this in blue. Any assumption in a financial model, we always put it in a dark blue. Then orders per client. Let's say on average they're ordering 1.35. And just for our example, let's say this is like a subscription coffee company that I used in one of my other videos. So you sign up and they, we basically send you bags of coffee every month. Some people order two because maybe they have four or six people living in their house so they want to receive two. Some people order one. On average it's 1.35 across all our customers. Transactions would just be number of clients times orders per client. So let's say 985 and we can just remove the decimal points and average order value, again, this is gonna to need to be an assumption. And so let's say on average, it costs, you know, I don't know, $25 our subscription. Then the gross margin percent. Okay, so the gross margin percent is, let's say it's 60%. So that's gonna be, you know, when someone pays $25, 40% of that goes to the coffee beans and goes to shipping and, and, and you know, paying the factory. And then 60% is just profit for the company. Then churn. The churn rate is the number, the percent of people that cancel every month. So let's say you have 100 people that sign up in month one, and then some percent of those people will cancel in month two. For our example, let's say it's 22%. So each month, 22% of the people from the previous month say, okay, you know, I don't want this anymore. Then we try to figure out, okay, on average, how long is someone our customer? With the churn rate, all we have to do is divide one by the churn rate, and you can actually see how many months turning off at 22% the average customer lifetime is. So it's 4.5 months. And that's just a basic formula. So we need these assumptions to basically calculate the customer lifetime value. So, first off, all we need is the number of transactions times the average order value. So that would get us our revenue. Then we multiply that by the profit margin, so that gets us our overall gross profit. And then we multiply that by the number of months. So you have your basically overall monthly gross profit times the, the amount of months that a normal customer stays with the business. And in this situation, sorry, and then you basically divide this at the end by the original number of customers. So we divide that by clients. So $92. $92 is our customer lifetime 
value. So we can spend in our customer acquisition cost probably somewhere up to $92 and still be profitable as a company. If we spend more than that, then ultimately we're going to lose money on the client over their lifetime. So that's how you calculate it and that's what you use it for, but I'm going to show you visually just so you can kind of understand what we just calculated. So let's say in month zero we have our 986 transactions. I say month zero because no time has passed, so it's really um, day zero. Then here we have um, you know month zero, month one, and let's bring it, you know, we're, we're gonna drag it down to three years. And for transactions, we have our 986, but then 22% of people churn off. So it's really times 78%, times one minus the churn rate. I just locked the cell so I can copy the formula down. I hit F4 to do that. So you see in month two, then we really have 769 clients. In month three, just copy the formula, month four, so we go down. And then here, we have the number of transactions times the average order value. That's really the revenue. So you can copy that down. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to calculate at the end of the day all of the profit from these 730 clients who, who, who had 986 transactions. So we'd say revenue times, what's our profit margin? 60% and we do this. And okay, so let's just copy this whole thing down so we can see, okay, at what point are basically are all these customers gone? So we go down and okay, so basically they don't really make it past, let's say three years. You know, by three years, you're, you're basically down to zero. So our total gross profit from this group of customers, in fact, we would call this a cohort of customers, is $67,000. The clients, we had 730 clients. And so the customer lifetime value, the total profit divided by the clients, again, $92. So you'll see that in this situation, whoops, in this situation, we have the exact same number over here as our, as our formula, $92. But here you can see visually, okay, I can spend, let's say, $50 to acquire a new customer. Even though they're only gonna pay me $25 in the first month, and only 60% of that will be profit, you know, as they stay our customers over their average 4.5 month lifetime, we're actually gonna make back that $50 we spent in marketing, and then we're gonna make additional profit on top of this. So when startups are growing like really, really fast, like 100%, two, three, four hundred percent a month, they need to be able to predict using historical churn rates, okay, we are losing a bunch of money because we're spending so much in marketing, but we're gonna make this money back, and then we're gonna make even more back, and we'll be profitable in maybe one year. And so the venture capitalists really, really want to understand what is the customer lifetime value before they invest in a startup. All right, so if you like this video and want more, please hit the like button, subscribe. It would really help me out. And even check out my discounted course links on Microsoft Excel below. And thanks for watching.